Hello, I wanted to hop on and chat about what is going on in the news today around uh, pregnancy and postpartum. And so there has been a new drug approved by the FDA, the first medication approved for postpartum depression. So this is huge news. There has never been anything approved to help with postpartum depression before and one in nine women struggle with it. Um, I did not have postpartum depression myself. I thought actually that I was going to because my mom did, um, but I was really lucky and I didn't, but I do know um, about depression. I struggled actually with pregnancy depression, which isn't sort of in the media as much, but I had cholestasis. I was really sick in my pregnancy and I struggled with um, the similar thing where it's supposed to be a really exciting time of your life, but I felt terrible, I couldn't get out of bed, I had thoughts of hurting myself in pregnancy, and um, so I really empathize with postpartum depression and just think that it's so important to talk about and to treat. So this is really, really exciting news. So the medication is um, a synthetic hormone, and the hormone is called brexanolone, and so it is a man-made synthetic um, version of a hormone that is produced by progesterone and progesterone after we have a baby and especially in postpartum depression really plummets and um, can be contributing to that so um, it's great to have a synthetic or man-made version of that and the research is showing that it helps within 24 or 48 hours and it significantly is helping with postpartum depression and because the outcome of postpartum depression can be so severe um, this is really an exciting outcome for some research trials to have. So other things that you need to know about it, it is not a pill. So you actually have to go to a hospital or a certified medical center and you get it through IV. And um, some, what, some of the side effects of it is um, that it can cause dizziness or fainting. And so that's why you want to have it um, administered by medical professionals. It is also not cheap. So it's brand new and I expect that it will get cheaper, but they're saying that the cost is gonna be between $20,000 and $35,000. And so certainly not cheap. However, um, they're hoping that insurance is going to pick this up. So it has been FDA approved. However, they are still waiting on the FDA approval for breastfeeding and so because it's postpartum that's going to be something that's important but they are hopeful that the approval is going to come through for breastfeeding so if you had postpartum depression or you know someone that has um, let me know in the comments below if this is something that is interesting to you or that you think would be helpful or your thoughts on it um, please share this with other moms who may have had postpartum depression as well the medication is going to be available in june and it's gonna be sold under the name Zolreso. And so Brexanolone is the name of the hormone, but it's gonna be sold under the brand name Zolreso. Um, so it's mostly gonna be for um, moderate to severe postpartum depression. Again, because it is so expensive and it is a medication, healthcare providers are really going to encourage um, the lifestyle and the other treatments um, that can be done first, but this could be really helpful for the moderate to more severe cases as well. And hopefully insurance will pick up um, the cost of that for women who really need it. So if you have any other questions, I think that that's all I had to say about it here. Um, yeah, okay. So if you have any other questions or comments, please comment below. Share this with um, your mom friends. This is really, really an exciting um, new thing that can really help moms with postpartum depression. All right, I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.